The crux of being stuck in the rat race is working relentlessly in a job that is meaningless to you just so you can buy more stuff that you don't really need and that doesn't even make you happy. Taking on consumer debt to buy things you can't afford yet, which forces you to keep working in that job that enables your lifestyle while draining you and slowly squeezing out your joy for life. And this is happening to more and more people. Job unhappiness is at a staggering all-time high. Along with dissatisfaction, workers are experiencing staggering rates of both disengagement and unhappiness. 60% of people reported being emotionally detached at work and 19% as being miserable. While an awful working environment, being underpaid and underappreciated may be reasons for this, being stuck in the wrong career altogether can also be a reason. So why do people stay stuck? Why don't they just leave their jobs and switch to a more fulfilling one? The reason that many people will stay stuck in the rat race forever is because they've adopted a paradigm that I call the false survival mode. A paradigm in simple words is the way that you interpret the world. Depending on how you view things, you will think and act differently. People who unconsciously adopt the paradigm of false survival mode always see themselves as being in a survival mode, whereas in reality, most of them are not. This is an awfully sensitive topic, so let me qualify further. Don't get me wrong, there are real survival situations. The clearest example is when someone needs to make a certain amount of money to finance a life-threatening medical condition or that of a loved one, or to keep a basic, stress your basic roof over your head. People in these kinds of situations are hanging on to their lives and they're in a real struggle for survival. I am not talking about these people. I'm talking about people who have already fulfilled their basic need for food, shelter, and clothing, but still feel as though they are struggling to survive. The word surviving has taken on a very different meaning nowadays. It's no longer about simply having any kind of clothes to wear or having a bed to sleep on with a roof over it or ensuring a minimum necessary caloric intake each day. Rather, it's about being able to afford a certain kind of lifestyle. Eating out instead of making homemade pasta. Living in a two-bedroom apartment downtown instead of in a studio apartment further out as a single person. Buying $100 jeans and designer ties. Is there even such a thing? People who are stuck in false survival mode have long surpassed the actual survival stage, but falsely believe that they are still lacking a million things, whereas what they're actually lacking is meaning.